Good morning and welcome to the big story here on Quest today. I am Uri Kemi Mariam. Straight to the big story. The art of applying fashion, uh, rather the art of applying design, aesthetics, clothing, construction and natural beauty to clothing and its accessories influenced by cultural and different trend has gained strong and enormous attention in Africa with Nigeria not being excluded. So also, the desire and demand to be more fashionable has risen, especially with Africa being seen as a true home of beauty and fashion. Here on the Nigerian social media space, we have seen the rise of various fashion designers and most surprisingly, customers uh, paying as much as millions of naira for outfits. And it begs the question, is this the new oil well? Well, in the spirit of being in a new year, where a lot of individuals are starting up new projects and businesses, we'll be looking at the business, life, and realities of the fashion designing world, and also making a career choice in fashion design. Today with me in the studio is one of Delta State's fas finest fashion designer by the name of Mr. Obi Egbedi Emmanuel, here to share with us the realities of the fashion design uh, business. Well, with that being said, uh, We've come today to talk about fashion design business, and you can see I am dressed to suit the topic. <laughs> yes, and also with me this morning in the studio is, uh, well, I was about to say comrade if you're dumber, but yes. <laughs> well, you'd be happy <laughs> Sorry to bust your bubble. We have Michael Gobadia here in the studio, and of course, our guest, uh, Mr. Obi Egbedi Emmanuel. Welcome and good morning. Well, good morning to you. Welcome. Well, are you ready to, you know, <laughs> apply aesthetics to this program? Of course. <laughs> All right. So quickly, uh, Michael, Mr. Obi Egbedi Emmanuel, please explain to us what is fashion design? Because we have those who say they are fashion designers, and then we have those who say they are tailors, and then we have those who are like down to it and say that these are not tailors, these are sort of obioma. So we really need to know like what is fashion design and what is the difference between fashion design and tailoring? Are there any similarities? Are there differences? What is going on over there? Wow, thank you guys for having me here. Mm. Yeah, come talking about the fashion industry, the, how the fashion designers and how the people, there are two, there are both differences, there are big differences to it, which I will say, the fashion designers, these are people who create designs, they are, they are being inspired from things they see, they go around, they create designs, drafting, patterns, so on and so on. Okay. That's for the fashion designer. Tailors, I would say the tailors, they just, the tailors are more like a backbone to the fashion designer because okay. without the tailors, the designs, you can create design. The fashion designer yeah. create designs yeah. and then so far and so forth. Okay. But we need someone out there to do the job, to finish the job. That's when, that's when the, the fashion designer comes in. Uh, the tailors comes in. Okay. The tailors, they do the finishing, they do the jobs, they do the sewing, okay. and so forth and so on. Mm. Okay, okay. And then the, the obiomas are those who just uh, literally <laughs> patch clothes. <laughs> can, can we leave the obioma out of it? <laughs> <laughs> but but you, you just made mention that it, it looks as if it's a full channel, mm. and uh, it, it follows with first getting the design and also going into now putting those design in reality and uh, that's where we have those in it but 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 let, let's quickly ask you uh, because i'll be very interested uh, let's look at the fashion industry in nigeria um in, in the last decade or two uh do, do you feel we've really grown over the years especially as it concerns fashion and do you see us at a top mark when it looks at uh, when we look at african fashion design is Nigeria making its mark there and do you feel we would always retain that as we try to also crave or carve um, a, a name for Nigerian fashion design, not just only on the continent, but in the Of course, I see, I see for sure, yeah, we are, making, we are making a very big impact in the fashion industry with the help of the entertainers of uh, like the music industry and okay. the comedies and so on and so on. They are trying to push us, the fashion designers also, to go as much as possible okay. to be on the lamb line also. Mm. Okay. Well, that's okay. Nice so, as, a f as one of Delta State's finest fashion designers right now on the scene, you are hot, <laughs> you know. The question now is, 
for someone who wants to, because like our topic says, making a career choice in fashion design, for someone who wants to become a fashion designer, are they mandated, mandated to attend any institutions of fashion design, you know, get any form of certification? Are there any, you know, is there any form of education they have to go through to actually become a fashion designer? Yes, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have to. They have to. It's not a. It's not a day job. Okay. It's not a day job. It's not what you just wake up someday and say, "I'm a fashion designer." They have to be a career. They have to be a push. They have to be a platform. They have mm. to be a, 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 a an a, a exposure, mm. okay. information. Okay. So, yeah. And you can't get them just like. Okay, that. so basically they have to like. Yes. You know, attend some attend sort of um, fashion school yes, per fashion se. Yeah, school, yeah, per mm. se. Yeah, have to have fashion school. Do, do we have these in Delta State? Yeah, we do. I, I'm, I'm quite aware we have these in Lagos, but I'm not quite sure about Delta State. So, we do, do, we, do, you, do, do we have we these do, in Delta have, State? We, yeah, yeah, we, have, we do. We, we run a fashion school. Mm. Yeah, we run a fashion school, of course. You know, a firm run a fashion school. And okay. in the sector of the polytechnic and the universities, yeah. there are fashion uh, uh, courses. courses. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there are fashion courses. Wow. Okay, that's and, uh, quite enlightening. Yeah, as, as much as you've laid that out, I'm, 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 I'm a bit curious uh, because if it looks as if it's well structured mm -hmm. and we seem to also have a direction as it concerns fashion industry in Nigeria, mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm only a bit concerned about the challenges uh, you guys face in the course of this business. Mm -hmm. Because that, that will also be a major one to see whether you either prosper or even meet the height that the industry needs. Let's look at some of the challenges you guys face. Challenges, challenges, challenges. There's, in every sector, in every business, there's always challenges, mm. yeah. of course. Yeah. We're having a lot of challenges when it comes to the fashion industry. Mm. Like, wow, well, see the inadequate power supply. Okay. Mm. Okay. Electricity is okay. a yeah. very big uh, challenge to us because we have to start running fuel, gas, diesel to pass to pull all the power supplies. So co the cost of that is going to affect us. Mm -hmm. That's for one. Then two, the inadequate uh, textile mines. Textile yeah. mines. Yeah, there is no, uh, when it comes to data state of a uh, uh, per se, if we want to look deep down to the fashion sectors, they will lack a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we lack a lot. We have we lack in textile mines, where we have the mass productions. No, I can't, I can't show anyone in the industry right now. Mm -hmm. There's no one at all. Then we talk about the fashion market, fashion mall. We can't picture anyone mm. when it comes to data state. Then inadequate a uh, a uh, uh, skillful man. Okay. Yeah, there are some machines that you just get. There's no one to operate them. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. Okay, but let's look at uh, let's draw from the newspapers this morning. We now know that dollar and uh, the you know, naira to the dollar is now one thousand three hundred and fifty-five naira per mm -hmm. dollar. Mm -hmm. Now, how does this dollar rate affect your business? Yeah, like what I said earlier, you know, earlier before, the prices really affects. It's it's a very it's a big blow because when you can go to the market today, tomorrow morning, you can go to the market just now and come back home. and go back there, say to that market, you bought something for a thousand naira. Go back there, you see it, it becomes two thousand one five, and you've already made your charge and from the customer. <laughs> charge <with> customer. <laughs> so what will you not do? Hmm. There's a job I there's a job I did as at a, a December. Yeah, there's December. This job, job was about a, a five. A, that's a four million plus which mm. was charged. Mm. But out of after the whole cost of production and everything, man, the, the thing came out almost five point seven million naira. Wow! So literally, you made a loss. Of, made a loss. Hmm. Wow. But then, you know, we've, we're talking about challenges right now, and you've mentioned quite a few. Yeah. But, you know, what seems to be very surprising mm. is the fact that people are willing to pay millions of naira for mm. outfits. Yeah, you know, we've seen this. I saw this trend in Lagos where a, fa a, a fashion designer as well was interviewed, mm. and she was asked why she was collecting payment mm. in dollars instead of naira. Yeah. And she said, well, they source their materials mm. in dollars. And so because of that, the customers have to pay in dollars. Now, the question is, we know you guys are not running at the field. You, know, you guys are not playing on the field of millions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But even with that, how lucrative is this business? How are your customer base? What is it like? Yeah. And, and, you know? and, and can somebody really sustain a living 
in going into this industry. Mm. Because many young Nigerians are at home. The reason we're having this is we're trying to see how we can also make that a viable option yeah, for, this, employment. For, for employment. Looking at the unemployment rate that it's uh, projected to rise to about 40 percent this year in nigeria so let's look at that can that be a source of living for any young graduate that is planning to say okay well i, I don't have the job but mm. let me see how i can make a living from something i love many oh, persons will just yes and also how, how do you even source your your yeah. customers how do you so, get your so, customers so, so, let, let, let's look at all a of business that. without customers is literally <laughs> nothing <laughs> yeah that's true anyway that's true that's true we're talking about customers talking about how we go about all this the fact is that Every business has its own customers being. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Of well, for me, I normally work with top influencers, okay. Okay, such as comedians, yeah. musicians. In that way, I can able to assess some level of customers, okay. which yeah, which suits my yeah. my products and the services. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So for anyone who is coming to the fashion industry, yeah, there's a lot of money in the fashion industry. Okay. There's a lot of money. Depends on your market value. Okay. Yeah, depends on your market value. What you give and what you take. Yeah. The product you are giving out, how the quality. Yeah. The finishing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you can't you can't pay a millionaire for a for a product that does not want it. Yeah, huh. of course not. Yes. Yeah, so becoming a fashion designer is not just a day job. Mm. Yeah, it's not a day job. It's, it, it requires a lot of energy, time, and patience. Mm. But, but l l let, me, let me quickly ask you this. D do you feel Nigeria, because uh, if you go into the industry, we want to talk of fashion, not even just making of clothes. If you go into the Nigerian fashion space, uh, we, we get many imports from overseas. Yeah. Some of the clothes we put on are there. Yeah, yeah. So, so my question is, how really appreciative are Nigerians into our own kind of design? Mm -hmm. I really appreciate I'm not talking about those in the entertainment world. We're not talking about the celebrities. Mm -hmm. but we're talking about that average Nigerian that well does his normal nine to five, mm -hmm. goes, still puts on jeans and top or trousers to work, but at the weekend would rather yes, we'll go to that have location an event, you know? with native <laughs> or our own local attire. So yes. let's look at it. How really appreciative and how really welcoming are Nigerians to this brand of style of dressing? Okay. When it comes to when it comes to the import doing of importations mm. and so on and so on. Yeah. I would say I would say I would say the fashion industry is going through a lot right now because mm. they still feel the more the 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 importation, the more international the brand is, the more valuable yes. it becomes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The most people don't that that the problem we are having right now I would say we're having is a big challenge to the yeah. to the fashion industry because they would prefer to most of them would prefer to go and get it prefer the one imported than mm. the one produced here mm. so nigerians are not accepting of nigerian fashion design is what you're trying to say ah wow <laughs> the fact is that when it comes to fashion designing if you are going if you are importing from outside the country mm. it's more often like i would say they don't normally get a suited design for them, as in a suited yeah, yeah, yeah. outfit for them. That themselves. fits the yeah. person. Yeah. Fits the person. That suits mm. the person. Mm. So that's the only issue they have in there. Mm. That's the only problem. That's why we are more. That's why we, we are we are coming in now to see. They, 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 that's why they have to see us mm. because when they import, mm. the team does not see them. They fall back to us. Mm. Yeah, to get their own to get kind one, of yes, brand. And design. But but are you saying those overseas? Match produce this stuff mm. and because of that is quite cheaper than what we have here yes that's why i told you that we have a, a inadequate textile mines okay to produce like a uh, fashion houses like a big fashion house to produce mass uh, produce mass produce quantities those people they produce in lesser co in lesser cost and mm fast production not oh. like us over here and but when they do have stable power supply have the mills of course, there, it's going to be you, easier you, so it's would it not be them, a yes. normality for them that to is, do oh well you've spoken quite well for now but we have to go on a break do not go anywhere you're still here on the big story on quest today <laughs>